Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to your daily operations weather brief for Thursday, November 21st. We're going to be seeing a very pleasant day out there today as high pressure uh, builds in over the area. Seeing some uh, mostly sunny skies out there currently. We are going to be seeing those clouds increase as we go towards the afternoon hours, mainly in the uh, upper levels, though, with uh, some mid-level decks then moving into the area tonight before we get uh, a chance of rain returning to the area as we go into tomorrow. Taking a look at our surface analysis across the region, there's that area of high pressure that's uh, pretty much dominating uh, the entire eastern third of the country. That's going to continue to slowly move uh, towards the northeast and then uh, settling all over our area as we go towards the afternoon, which will help to uh, give us some fairly light winds across the region. And then uh, we're going to be seeing some upper level cloudiness stream in ahead of our next sy system with some mid-level cloudiness uh, also moving into the area tonight as we get a little bit of uh, upper level energy in advance of the system as well before we get um, a little bit of rain tomorrow as uh, we get a front moving across the <coughs> mid-Atlantic. Taking a look at our uh, current conditions as of 8 a.m., just seeing a scattered deck of uh, 25,000 foot cirrus out there. Winds from azimuth 310 at 6 knots. Temperature of 40 degrees. Relative humidity 75%. <clears throat> Taking a look at our satellite this morning, we are seeing just some uh, fair weather cumulus off the coast associated with that uh, colder air streaming over the warmer ocean waters this morning. You can see that uh, abundant upper level cloudiness is starting to move in from the west across the Appalachians here. That'll slowly increase as we go into the afternoon hours and into tonight with that uh, mid-level cloudiness increasing later tonight as well. For today, we're going to be looking at a, another uh, chillier high near 52 degrees for this afternoon. Winds are going to remain northwest around 7 to 12 knots this morning, then weakening as we go towards the uh, early afternoon hours to uh, 4 to 9 knots from the west, then shifting southwesterly in the late afternoon hours into the overnight at 4 to 9 knots. And then as we go into the overnight hours, we are going to see those winds increase a bit as that uh, <coughs> next front slowly approaches the region. That'll help to uh, give us some southwesterly winds around 8 to 13 knots after sunset and into the mid-morning hours of tomorrow. Those southwesterly winds are also going to help to prevent our lows from becoming, um, uh, from dropping too much. We're going to, it does look like we are going to see our low temperature early this evening and then temperatures will hold steady or rise as we go into the overnight hours. Low expected to be uh, 44 degrees uh, early this evening. Taking a look at our terminal forecast, currently seeing that scattered deck of 25,000 foot uh, cirrus cloudiness out there. It will become uh, broken at 25,000 feet as we go throughout the morning, and then uh, possibly seeing just a few clouds near 2,500 feet pop up as we go into the afternoon. As we go into the mid to late afternoon hours after 2 p.m., we are going to see some cloudiness near around 15,000 feet start to show up, and uh, then that will slowly lower and thicken as we go t into the uh, early evening hours and overnight. By around midnight, we are going to see a uh, Few clouds around 7,500 feet, broken decks at around 12,000 and 25,000 feet, and seeing those uh, <coughs> clouds lower just a little bit throughout the pre dawn hours, becoming scattered to broken near 4,000 feet, broken at 7,500, and then uh, broken at the uh, 25,000 foot level. Taking a look at our forecast for tomorrow, we are going to be seeing a Mostly cloudy skies with some scattered afternoon showers. It is going to be slightly breezy at times as we get the pressure gradient tightening up with that frontal passage. Uh, does look like it will be dry in the morning. Showers mostly occurring in the afternoon and then ending by uh, the evening time period. Looking for a high of 58 degrees tomorrow. For Friday night, it does look like it is going to remain dry as that front will be south of us as we get into the overnight hours. And that will actually help to give us... Um, some light northerly winds and help to clear out those clouds a bit as we get some drier air uh, briefly moving in. So that's going to help drop that low down to 35. So expect a chilly night Friday night and it does look like that front's going to now be south enough, to, south enough to remain dry throughout Friday evening and into Saturday morning as well. Looks like Saturday morning is going to be dry, uh, partly to mostly cloudy early. And then it will become overcast as we go into the afternoon hours as that uh, front starts to move back north as a warm front. We are going to be seeing a uh, a late high Saturday night uh, looks like the high temperature might occur actually near midnight Saturday night into Sunday with a high into the mid 50s as that uh, warm front starts to move across the region. We are going to see showers chances increase as well as we get towards the uh, late afternoon and early evening with the rain then becoming likely as we go into Saturday night.
That'll do it for your daily operations weather brief. We'll be back uh, at 10 a.m. for your full weather briefing and extended outlook.